Okay, this is my test setup uh, of the uh, the motor drivers that I purchased recently. Supposedly, they're uh, they can hold withstand 30 amps. Um, I think it's 15 volts at 15 volts. Might be 24. I don't remember. And here I made a uh, this is a pulse width modulator circuit using just a 555. It's real simple and let's test it out. I'm going to apply 5 volts to the circuit. Right now the motor is humming. I think that's because of the uh, components of the 555. I have to change the values. There we go. So everything's working good. This is the reverse on this circuit here, it has a, two connections for the pulse width modulator, one for reverse, one for forward. This is the reverse one. And then I'm going to disconnect this. The motor stopped instantly. And I'm going to plug it on to the forward side. There it goes forward breaks pretty fast when I remove the pulse width modulation pulse. See? It's like almost like a break. Here's the other the reverse direction. This setup here is just a terminal block hooked up to a set of batteries. Two of these batteries are in parallel for more current. It's still 12 volts and here's a 12 volt battery going to the terminal block this separate 12 volt battery, I plan to use it just for the control logic on on the robot. It'll you know be for the router connection, the camera system, and any other peripheral sensors that I that I might have on on board. And I think that will, from what I've been reading, that will reduce the the spikes, the noise spikes for coming from the DC motors.